host Etika from the Etika World Network and I'm here to start up a new series. Now, considering that Super Smash Brothers has everybody and their moms hype right now, I figured that I might as well feed into the hype a little bit myself. And I was thinking, you know, right now, as of as speaking right now, I'm looking on YouTube and I don't really see too many places that are highlighting those pictures that Sakurai has been posting up ever since Smash has been announced. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Masahiro Sakurai, the director of Smash Brothers, proposed that he would be posting a single screenshot every single day depicting something new within Super Smash Brothers, 3DS, and Wii U. So, I haven't really seen too many people highlighting that, or maybe they do it in videos which it's like a review or a recap of all the stuff. But I figured I might as well make a video every day that he releases one of these screenshots and we analyze it ourselves and break it down. I guess they won't be too long in length since it'll be basically analyzing a screenshot. But I figured it might just be fun to add on to the hype. And on top of it all, there are some pictures that he releases which have some really deep meaning to them. So I figured it would be amazing to be able to analyze it. I know I'm getting into it a little bit late because um, Sakurai has been doing this ever since the game has been announced last year. So I'm kind of behind the curve. But it should still be fun. We'll still break down the ones that are here. And as we get closer to the date, most likely we're going to get some better screenshots. And most likely we're going to get some shots that depict some really interesting stuff. I mean, we've seen some already, so I want to break it down. So now, today, Sakurai, well, actually, this isn't necessarily the picture of the day for today, but rather this is the one for yesterday, but it kind of still fits in between because Japanese time is a little bit off from Eastern time, so for him it was yesterday, but for me it was still today. Anyways, this is the first picture that Sakurai posted to, well, not the first, but this is the picture he posted today. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm on the Miiverse right now, and the Miiverse is where Sakurai posts these pictures, so you can always log in there with your Nintendo Network ID in order to log on and you can see the post that he makes. So we're looking directly at the post that he made today, directly to you. <laughs> anyway, so um, Sakurai said, pick up a day. In order to make Rayman's trophy, Rayman's trophy, why does Rayman have a trophy in the game? This is where, I, okay, in order to make Rayman's trophy, we asked Ubisoft to share their references. We were expecting to receive 2D drawing references for Rayman, but to our surprise, they sent us data of a brand new 3D model that they rendered just for this game. And that was how this trophy was created. It took a lot of work creating each model, so it's wonderful that the creators contributed their own efforts. Rayman is a trophy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and, well, not Brawl, but Wii U and 3DS. Now, the significance of this, I don't know, because why would Rayman be included? I mean, he's a Ubisoft creation, if you don't know, first party creation. And to be honest, when I saw Rayman uh, as the picture of the day, I was like, holy shit, does this mean Rayman could possibly be in the game? But no. Sakurai wouldn't show him off if he wasn't in the game, and he's clearly a trophy here, so Rayman's not going to be in the game, most likely. But then, why does Rayman have a trophy in the game? I mean, where's his relevancy come in? Does he appear as a cameo? But why have a third-party person come in as a cameo, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand what Nintendo's move was here. And by the way, you guys might hear some background noise behind me. It's just the, the other people that live here, you know, try to deal. But anyways, this is really interesting because they, well, Ubisoft, as we know, they always take a lot of pride with their work, so it's pretty cool that they sent Sakurai a 3D model. But what I'm curious about is why send Sakurai a model of Rayman in the first place? Is there going to be some incorporation here? I, I, I think Rayman would be an amazing addition to the Smash Brothers roster. He fits in so perfectly. I mean, my first Rayman game was Rayman 2, so, you know, I kind of have a little bit of a, a heart throb for the series. but. It would be such an amazing addition. I think this is where Sakurai probably failed. He should have had Rayman included as a playable character in the roster. He would have fit so great because, you know, Rayman's kind of comical in a sense. And he yet at the same time is a really good fighter. He has a lot of moves in his arsenal. And um, a unique fighting style as that, since he doesn't have arms, he could use a lot of moves where he throws his fist. But they could even take it back to Rayman too, where he has the energy orbs and he tosses those. He's got the um, copter on his head, which can be used for amazing recovery if he was implemented into the game. I mean, that could be an amazing... Now that I'm thinking about it, Rayman could have an amazing moveset for Super Smash Brothers, but he's not in the game. This has to be one of the biggest disappointments I've seen Sakurai do in a long time, because Rayman would be great! Like, you guys gotta let me know, do you think Rayman would be a great addition to this game? I think he would be... I, I think he'd be better than Pac-Man, to be honest, because Rayman, he's actually comical... Well, Pac-Man's comical too, but Rayman, he's like... He's a comical fighter, that's what he's built upon. Rayman is a comical fighter. This guy has so many moves, like... Thinking about the helicopter with the hair, because you know, he has like this helicopter thing you can do with his hair. That would be amazing! It would be such a great recovery move. And he could use the orbs as like his neutral beat. Anyways, why the hell do you think Sakurai had Rayman as a trophy in this game? What does this mean for Super Smash Brothers? 
Will there be other third party characters included as trophies in the game? But Ubisoft, on top of everything else, why send them a trophy? Why is Sakurai putting it in there? Is there going to be more Rayman characters like Globox or the Teensies? I don't know. I don't know. I'm jumping ahead of the gun, but it's very strange that Sakurai put Rayman as a trophy in the game. The chance of him being a playable character, I would honestly say, is like 99 point, well, no, no, excuse me, 0.0001%, but I guess it's still a chance in the end of the day. I hope it works out, man. I hope he's a playable character, but he's probably not going to be. Don't get hyped. Do not get hyped. I'm not going to let myself get hyped over this, but it's still very, very, very interesting. Why? Why? Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.